everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we continue our journey as we travel around art, the current largest commercially available jigsaw puzzle in the world from Graphica. If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Go check them out. I suggest you at least watch the unboxing video just to get an overview of the puzzle itself. So today we are on bag number nine. I have to keep counting and remind myself because the bag numbers are different from the sections. So bag number nine, which means at the end of this section of the jigsaw puzzle, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I will have completed one third of the entire puzzle. One third, amazing. I still have part of it up on the wall. It's gotta come down though, because I will want to try to connect this section of the puzzle to the lower section that's still on the wall here. So it's section 21. This is gonna be bag number nine. It's another lower section along the wall. This is the first time that I do a section that has a representation of people looking at the art. I think this section will be rather easy. All those bottom along the, the floor um, sections have been quite easy for me to do. They break them up nicely. I like this painting right here. It reminds me of the Franz Marc painting that we saw from the previous, from this section, the previous along the floor section. I don't think this will be too challenging. If I take out my panoramic poster here. Will this stay in frame? Oh my goodness. Yes. So now I've done these first two full three sections, three sections. So I like to call them panels, the two first full panels. And now we're working on this bottom one here. I am worried about the next section. <gasps> ah! This one I'm hoping will be quite simple enough to do, but that next section, I'm not looking forward to it. And on the other end, I've done two bookshelf sections so far. Those are so enjoyable, so much fun to do. I thought all the brown would drive me nuts. Not at all, not at all. So yeah, that's it. Bag number nine, section 21. I can't wait. Um, I think this is probably another Monet. I hope it's not too difficult because it's very painterly, <laughs> like brush strokes and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is interesting. And we got people in them. So without further ado, and for the love of puzzles, let's get going on building bag number nine, which is section 21, as we travel around art. There are only two paintings in this section of the puzzle. The first reminded me so much of the Franz Marc painting, Landscape with House, Dog and Cattle, that we saw in section 20. This painting though is from Auguste Mack and it's titled Kairouan III. It's from 1914. He was an expressionist painter from Germany and a member of Der Blau Reiter, the Blue Rider group, which was a group of German expressionist painters, of which I believe Franz Marc was not only a member, I think he was actually a founding member, if I remember correctly. Now, reportedly, Franz and Auguste were friends, and sadly, they both died in the First World War. Now, similar to the Franz Marc painting, I had a difficult time finding information on this spe specific painting from Auguste, perhaps because he has some other more well-known paintings like the Turkish cafe painting that he did. Karouan though, this painting is currently located at the Westphalian State Museum for Art and Cultural History in Munster, Germany. I saw one place online listing it to be landscape art, which is approximately like 29 by 23 centimeters in dimension, so not very large. Auguste traveled to Karouan, so Karouan is a city in the northern Tunisian inland desert, and it was the exotic atmosphere of Tunisia that inspired him greatly during this time, and he created a series of works that are now considered to be masterpieces. His paintings that he created at this time, including Karouan III, this one, concentrate primarily on expressing feelings and moods rather than reproducing objective like reality, usually distorting colors and forms. And we definitely see that in this painting. 
He is described as knowing how to integrate into his paintings the elements of the avant-garde, which most interested him at this time. The other painting in this section of the puzzle is another one by the French Impressionist painter Claude Monet, and it's titled The Magpie, or in French, La Pie. It was painted over 1868 to 1869. It's approximately 89 by 130 centimeters in size, so that's a pretty good size painting. And it's currently located at La Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France. Monet and Camille Doncieux, who eventually became his wife, they stayed in a house near the commune of Etretat in Normandy with their newborn son during this period. This allowed him to paint in comfort surrounded by his family. Art historians believe that a series of severe winters in France contributed to an increased number of winter landscapes illustrating the natural effects of snow which were produced by Impressionists. The magpie is one of approximately 140 snowscapes produced by Monet, but this is the largest of his winter paintings. You can see a solitary magpie perched on a gate formed in a wattle fence as the light of the sun shines upon freshly fallen snow, creating a blue shadow. Monet and the Impressionists use colored shadows to represent the actual changing conditions of light and shadow as seen in nature, which challenged the academic convention of painting shadows black. I read somewhere that the magpie perched on the gate was like a note on a staff of music, and that was like a toned down nod to lyricism. Today, art historians classify the magpie as one of Monet's best snowscape paintings. The painting was privately held until the Musée d'Orsay acquired it in 1984. It is considered one of the most popular paintings in their permanent collection.
and another section is done. I've completed one third of the puzzle. Can you believe it? Now, sadly, I've had to take it off the wall, so it's down, it's off. Just a note about those command um, strips that I use, those poster hanging strips, amazing. Seriously, that was up on the wall for probably at least two weeks, and it didn't take the paint off the wall as long as you remove the strips as instructed and pulled down. Unfortunately, I got a little hasty and with one of them, I pulled outwards and I did remove a bit of the paint. My mistake, not the strips. So I will definitely, definitely be buying those and using those to hopefully display the full puzzle in its entirety on a wall at some point in time. Now, I would classify this section as the puzzle as an easy section. It only took me 10 hours and 42 minutes. These sections are so easy to do. There's lots to um, sort and do piece by piece. You feel like you're accomplishing little sections at a time. It doesn't feel overwhelming whatsoever. You will notice at the end of the video there, I did the display. I'm doing six sections at a time on the floor in my garage. However, I've decided to stop like interlocking them. So they're actually just sitting on top of one another. And the reason for that is, is just to save the prongs. I mean, I am literally, you know, some of these sections been assembling, disassembling them many, many times. And so a few prongs have started to split and I've just had to glue them. Not anything to do with the quality of the puzzle, just from the repetitive um, assembling and disassembly. And also it was tricky getting it off the wall because it was pulling between the sections. So I've decided six sections at a time on the floor in the garage, and I'm just, you know, sitting them on top of one another. I think it looks fine. And I can't wait to do a big monstrous reveal at the end. I need to put my map back on the wall. I'm sorry, I know the wall looks all white and boring, but um, hopefully I'll have the map back up on the wall soon. I just need my hubby's help because it's quite large. But yeah, there you go. One third of the puzzle done. Did I say one ninth at the beginning? I can't remember. But it's one third because I've done nine bags and nine bags out of 27 is one third of the puzzle done. Crazy, just blows my mind. I'm getting there, it's getting done. I enjoyed this one very much. I love this painting up here. So sad about August Mack and Franz Mark passing away in the First World War. Oh, at least we have some of their amazing artwork still today to enjoy. But overall, again, such a joy learning about the history of these paintings and the artists. I like this section because it was the first one with people. They were lots of fun to do. So yeah, there you go. I don't have too much more to say about this section. I'm very worried about the next section, but we'll get to that in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!